All right, here I am with my second Pokemon deck. It is Mega Sceptile. Uh, if you don't know, I base decks that I play in this game on Pokemon that I like. And not that Sceptile was my favorite final evolution from Ruby and Sapphire. Blaziken was, but Trico was my favorite starter. Because Trico is just, you know, awesome. Trico is Trico. But... I'll probably be working on a Blaziken deck eventually, but for now, I went with uh, Mega Sceptile because I watched the deck and I liked it played. So here I am. So I'm just going to jump right into it, get going here. Start off with the three Mega Sceptiles. If you don't know, uh, Mega Sceptile has effect, which states he is unaffected by your opponent's abilities, which is very, very good. His Jagged Saber does 100 damage and you can put up to two grass energies on your benched Pokemon and completely heal them which is a very very strong effect we have three Sceptile EX and our fourth Sceptile EX uh, the Unseen Claw which does 130 damage if your opponent is affected by special condition and you have your agility I have yet to use his other attack but you never know you can always fill it up with a uh, Mega Sceptile if it's on your bench. Uh, sleep Poison sometimes if you absolutely need to. Then we have a Hoopa to search out our line here. And then for our others, we run the Ariados, Spinarak, Poison, Unseen to make Unseen Claw do 130. A Virizion. I actually have not used Prize Count yet. It hasn't come up. I've used Bell out a few times just because of Sycamore and then get this uh, Pokemon that I've discarded back. And then the last Pokemon I run, I actually I run one uh, Bunnelby. Uh, this deck can have very long matches and you can potentially deck your opponent out with his attack. You can attack twice with him because of his ability and you can discard two cards on the top of their deck or you can recycle uh, two cards in your discard pile back to your deck. So. It makes it, if you use him with Super Rod, which I don't run Super Rod anymore, but if you use him with Super Rod, you can potentially never deck out. Um, and you can make your opponent deck out faster. Uh, so I really like him. I just thought I'd try him in this deck, run him, recycle my energies if I have to. Recycle, like, recycle an energy in a professor's letter, or recycle an energy in an energy, or just recycle energy retrievers and keep retreating. Like, you cycle, uh, yeah, you just recycle energy retriever in professor's letter, and then you never run out of energies to heal basically with a mega septile we have the three force the giant plant so you can evolve first turn uh, this card is amazing in this deck and one shroud of memories a uh, late game forced isn't as good so and i just run shroud of memories that way when i have mega septile i can still use uh unseen claw for the extra damage or i can heal if i need to then run the uh two uh Spirit Links. I don't run the three three uh, because with this deck, if you can, you can uh, consistently make, fairly consistently make a Mega Sceptile turn one. Uh, if you're going first, you can, you can attack anyway. So uh, I figured I don't really need the third one because I can just make Mega Sceptile first turn and then just wait and have him as the last thing I do. Uh, drop him and then pass turn anyway that way. So I didn't want to uh, run the run the third one. Uh, three trainers mail just to speed through the deck, get to these uh, trainers that we need. Uh, Ultra Balls. Ultra Ball is best really for searching Hoopa first turn. I would run more if I had more, but really, Ultra Ball has been the hardest thing to find for this deck, and I haven't wanted to order them yet. Uh, one level ball just to search out the Spinner Rack or the Aerodose, whichever one I'm missing. And then, if, you, if you've heard anything about this deck, it's probably that Super Scoop Up is the best card in the deck, and that is an accurate statement. Uh, Super Scoop Up along with Forest is incredible because you can, if your Mega Sceptile is about to die, Super Scoop him up. If you get the Coin Toss right, completely heal him along with getting all the energies, the Spirit Link potentially, and everything. Just get him back, drop him again, and with Forest Giant Plants, Mega Evolve him again, same turn, and just keep going. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous, and it's just an amazing card. Uh, I also run two Muscle Bands. For Sceptile, it makes his Unseen Claw do 150. Uh, two Escape Ropes, just to... If you if you get it going good, you can have multiple Sceptiles uh, set up. So, 
if one of them's about to die and you don't have your mega or you just if you're just beating down with unseen claw you can switch it out and then just keep going that way then uh, three uh, max elixirs just to get your septile set up faster the uh, professor's letters and the energy retrievals like I said just to keep energies for your mega septile and you can just keep healing just keep healing your bench and and I run the uh, three Sycamore, one Birch, and one Shauna for draw power. Uh, two Lysanders. I really like Lysander. Just pick things off. And something I'm trying out is teammates. Just, you know, get killed to search out uh, any two cards I want. Whatever I'm meeting at the moment. And then finally, ten Grass Energy. Uh, I don't... I find 10 to be a good number. I haven't really needed any more or any less. And that's why I run the energy retrievals. But anyway, guys, this has been my Mega Septile deck. It's been a really fun deck to play. I'll probably get some matches with it tomorrow. Hopefully, since I got my tripod fixed. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And, and this has been Jables. Out.